queda otra que venir a demostrar que, que queremos estar en esa Final Four que a todo el mundo nos ilusiona. Ahí en España, la Croacia que va a vestir de negro, España va a vestir con esa camiseta color azul. Vemos ahí a Davor Zucker, que es el presidente de la Federación Croata, de una camiseta con el número de partidos internacionales. Y ahora vemos a Mario Mandzukic, que cumplió 89, uno de los héroes del pasado Mundial de Rusia. De su afición y... Y con, el el presidente, con el presidente que es ni más ni menos que... El Vemos presidente. el saludo entre los dos capitanes y compañeros de equipo, Sergio Ramos y Luca Modric. Somos componentes del Real Madrid, el árbitro Saúl. Busquets, Ceballos, Isco, Aspas y Rodrigo. Esa es la formación del equipo español para el día. España a la izquierda, Croacia a la derecha, comenzó el partido. A España lo que le vale. El peligroso equipo estaba en la izquierda, ojo a Perisic, antes Sergio Roberto, el tiro al palo. Uh, palo. El disparo al palo, lanzamiento de Perisic. Esquina para el equipo de Croacia, otra llegada rápida, no se lo piensan dos veces. Y esta es la acción anterior, la del disparo de Perisic al palo. Decíais que había tocado De Gea. Sí, sí, sí. Ha salvado De Gea ahí el primer gol. De Croacia. psicológica sin paralelo con Ramos y con Íñigo Martínez para proteger la zona de atrás y que se vea Roberto y Jordi ya la puedan subir los dos. Cuidado que ha recibido una patada ahí, aspas. aspas de, de, de Kalinic. Portero, sí. Sí. De hecho han mandado la pelota afuera porque tienen que atender a Aspas ahí en el terreno de juego, David. Sí, está justo en la otra portería, la más lejana a mi posición, pero rápidamente el doctor Cota... Aparte de doctor de la selección, médico del Celta de Vigo, por tanto conoce a la perfección a Yago Aspas, acude raudo y veloz a interesarse por el estado del delantero de la selección española, bajo el... la atenta mirada del colegiado y del guardameta de Croata. Es el rodillazo final. Sí, eh, sí, 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 sí. En realidad se cae. Izquierda de nuevo, Revich, Revich atrás para jugar con Perisic. Perisic dentro del área, el disparo fuera. El disparo de Perisic fuera, no llegó al final el delantero centro, no llegó Kramaric a ese nuevo lanzamiento de Perisic. 13 minutos de juego, dos acciones de peligro de Croacia, ambas de Perisic. Esta después de la pelota que le deja Irrevich. Vemos ahí los movimientos, Perisic y por muy poquito no ha llegado Kramaric porque con tocar ese balón habría ido a portería. Y las dos ocasiones, Juan Carlos. La pelota siempre muy peligroso, Perisic en el disparo, golpeó a los jugadores de la defensa española, va a llegar Modric. Modric que la quiere meter dentro, se ha quedado amortiguado el balón en los pies de Ceballos y al final lo puede sacar el equipo español, falta Isco. Eh, falta clara la que acaba de indicar el árbitro, aunque están protestando los jugadores croatas, la falta de Brozovic. Yes. Sí. Se ha quedado Ceballos en el suelo, siguen los croatas con la jugada por el lado derecho, aunque yo creo que van a más. Con Aspas, pero ha tocado la pelota en Lobren. Era muy buena la intención de Saúl, que había visto cómo se iba por delante Yago Aspas. Y esta es la acción anterior entre Modric y Ceballos. Y esta es la siguiente, el manotazo oh, este de sí Revich a Busquets. Clarísimo, ¿eh? El manotazo de Revich. Yes. El de Modric a Ceballos no está tan claro, pero el de... Puede ser peligroso, entra Perisic aquí por el lado izquierdo, vamos a ver que amagan con el disparo, no, la va a sacar al final Saúl, a sacar banda para el equipo español, va a poner el balón en juego de Gea. Comentaba Juan Carlos que cuando la situación que está pasando ahora, que Sergio Busquets siempre tiene un marcador, yo creo que una de las soluciones que puede tener España es los dos interiores, Ceballos y Saúl, bajarlos los dos a la altura de Sergio Busquets, y si le siguen los, de, los mediocampistas. Error ahora de Bersálico, se la lleva Ceballos. Vamos a ver Ceballos dentro del área. Ceballos que se la quiere jugar. No, se fue al suelo, pero no hay nada. Saque de puerta. Cayó ahí ante Brozovic, pero no hay nada. Es saque de puerta favorable para Croacia. En todo caso, lo que sí hace falta, como estaba comentando Chapi, es que España tenga el balón. Es decir, que, que, que aparezca el mediocampo porque España no mueve apenas la pelota y cuando intenta hacerlo la pierde y facilita las salidas al contraataque de los de hoy Ahí está Bersálico. Ojo al balón que va para Pérez y se remate de cabeza, se va a ir alto. Se va a ir alto por encima de la portería de De Gea. Tercer remate de este hombre, que es el que decíamos hace un instante. Está llevando más peligro sobre la portería de España. Pérez que cumplió hoy su partido internacional número 77, el jugador del Inter de Milán. Y lo que decía Chapi, fíjate ahora en Saúl, como llega justo hasta la frontal del área para intentar ofrecer una salida. Bueno, pero hay que empezar a asustar. Muy bien ahora, Sergio. Sergio Roberto que llegó a tocar ese balón, ha golpeado también en el jugador croata, el árbitro había dejado seguir el juego, pero lo para porque tienen que atender a, a Perisic. Así, que se ha llevado un golpe en la cara, se está doliendo el futbolista del Inter de Milán 
y son hasta cuatro los jugadores de la selección que rodean al colegiado sí. para protestar la otra acción. Bueno, sí, por, están Juan, protestando claro, porque claro. una acción anterior eh, creo que fue Ceballos el que se quedó en el suelo y no nadie paró el juego. Ceballos y Busquets. Y Busquets. En la misma jugada y no paró el juego. Sí, Roberto con Isco, Isco con Aspas, pelota de Saúl, hay que tirar, vamos a ver Saúl si lo intenta, le viene con la derecha, dispara con la derecha alto. Bueno, pero había que tirar, había que acabar esa jugada, era clamoroso acabarla. Eh, siendo, siendo honestos con el equipo español, está encontrando delante eh, una selección muy cerrada, con las líneas eh, muy juntas, eh, entre esa línea de cuatro defensiva y ese, esa línea de cinco que meten en el centro del campo, hay una separación de escasamente 10. Sí, ese error de Modric, ojo que roba Isco. Vamos a ver en ese balón de Isco el tiro de Isco. Uy. Ha tocado Kalinic. Ha tocado Kalinic con la mano para enviar la pelota a córner en el primer disparo con peligro de España en el partido. Minuto 45 de juego. De 46 que se van a jugar, uno de añadido. Ahí tenemos el lanzamiento de Isco con la pierna derecha y como Kalinic envía el balón a córner. Primera oportunidad para el equipo en la parte con empate a cero el marcador en Zagreb. Croacia cero, España cero. Volveremos con la segunda parte. Hasta ahora. Tenemos a los jugadores de Croacia saliendo al terreno de juego. En primer plano vemos ahí a Rakitic. Ellos con pinta, con apariencia de que vayan a ser... En los primeros instantes de la segunda parte de la primera modificación. Y Álvaro Morata, ¿no? Si quiere buscar algún balón más directo. Ha comenzado la segunda parte, ahora el equipo de... Ahora sí que están arriba, ya, ¿eh? Cuidado. Cuidado. Uy, vamos a ver qué oportunidad el gol. Ha marcado Croacia en la vale. salida de Sergio Ramos. Ha marcado Kramaric. Estaban muy arriba los jugadores de Croacia. En ese robo de balón se quedó solo Kramaric, que ha batido de Gea. Gol de Kramaric, minuto 53 de partido, cuando iba dominando más España. Esa presión se han echado hacia adelante todos los jugadores del equipo de Croacia. Y la pelota al final ha acabado en Kramaric completamente solo antes de Gea para batirle con la pierna derecha. Lo vamos a ver ahí, cómo intenta salir Sergio Ramos, Sergio Ramos con Sergio Roberto. Se equivoca en la entrega Sergio Roberto y le queda la pelota Franca Kramaric para conseguir el primer gol del partido. Pues más difícil todavía. Ahora no vale un gol, ahora hay que marcar dos. Aspas por dentro, pelota para Isco, Isco que centra. ¡Gol! Perisic, otra vez muy verticales, el disparo uh, fuera. Si llega a ver. El disparo fuera de Rakitic. El corazón en un puño con esas dos últimas acciones de peligro del equipo de Croacia. Ahí se fue Rakitic. Completamente le ha favorecido el rechace y el disparo se le ha marchado fuera con la izquierda a Rakitic. Pero ahora si va adentro es peligrosísimo. Y el cambio que ya se ha producido, se, se Rodrigo. marcha Rodrigo. Rodrigo Busquets, Busquets de nuevo por dentro, vamos a ver, va a buscar a Sergio Roberto al centro, no ha llegado y sí. ¡Al palo! No puede ser. ¡Al palo, a la madera, en la parte de arriba dio ese balón el remate de Yago Aspas! Minuto 62 de partido, ha estado a punto España de conseguir el 1-2. Una muy buena jugada y vemos a Busquets, la apertura para Sergio Roberto, Sergio Roberto que ve ahí a Isco, llega a tocar... Vida, llega a tocar también Lobren y el balón le queda a Franco para el remate a Yago Aspas, aunque tenía encima al portero. Bueno, Modric protegiendo ese balón, buscando el centro, cosa que consiguió y que remate el oh. Qué vaya envío de Modric, impresionante. Impresionante el envío de Modric para Jevay. Gol de Jevay, 2-1 para Croacia, el pase de Modric desde el otro lado, espectacular. Gol de Jetbay, Croacia 2, España 1, vuelve a ponerse la cosa muy, muy difícil. Una de las novedades en el 11 de la selección croata que adelanta a su selección en el momento en el que mejor estaba seguramente la selección española. Lamento al unísono del banquillo que dirige Luis Enrique Martínez. Hay que volver a remar. Hay que volver a remar en efecto y tenemos el envío de Modric como llega Jetbay completamente solo. Y remata a placer a la vida de España con... Está esperando ahí el balón dentro, Isco. Uy, acá ha tocado el Bersálico. Marco, ha tocado Marco, 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 Marco. Penalti. Penalti a favor de España. Penalti. Ha tocado Bersálico. Ha interpretado el árbitro que lo ha hecho con la mano. Penalti a favor de España. Minuto 76. 
Minuto 76 y oportunidad de conseguir el gol del empate. Momento de máxima tensión, de máxima emoción en este estadio. En minuto 77, Sergio Ramos con la derecha. ¡Gol! ¡A la derecha de Cali! ¡Ha marcado Ramos! ¡Ni palenca ni nada! ¡Dispara a la derecha del portero y gol! ¡Empate a dos en el marcador! Croacia 2, España 2, amagó ahí con el disparo a la izquierda, pero tiró a la derecha y Ramos de momento infalible en los penaltis, logra el empate para España. Décimo séptimo gol del tiro ahí, uy qué buena acción el disparo de Gea, gol, gol de Croacia, ha marcado Croacia, ha marcado Yesbay, ha marcado Yesbay el 3-2 en el último instante del partido. Ha marcado Yesbay el 3-2 cuando había dos jugadores de España completamente solos y Croacia vuelve a meterse en la lucha por la Final Four. Beautiful scene between the orange and blue of the Netherlands and France. This is League A Group 1. The mini group which will decide one finalist for the UEFA Nations League. It could yet be the Dutch or the French. The French are favourites. They hold the advantage by four points currently, but this their final match. Netherlands still have six points to play for. They must win tonight if they harbor those ambitions. But really, as Ronald Koeman took charge back at the beginning of the year, this has been a rebuilding process, reinstalling of confidence for the Dutch after missing those two consecutive tournaments for the first time since the mid-80s. Yeah, it's not easy, but of course we always uh, knew about the talent that Dutch possess, right? And you look at this squad, 10 players in this squad under 23 years of age, and quite a few actually in the starting lineup, which is uh, no surprise I've mentioned. If you look at Ajax teams in the Champions League, or even PSV, some of the players, of course, very, very young. They're not afraid to give those players an opportunity. And what a chance that is in terms of experience, Ross, right? Playing against the world champion, of course, and uh, with this crowd, who knows? Okuman knows this stadium very well indeed. He managed here for three years. He played here for two years at the end of his action. A very capable duel. And then some Dumfries on that right hand side by the midfield. Strong, but yet created. That's normally Lucas Hernandez. Then Benjamin Mendy goes out as well. Well, they have Lucas Dean here. And by the way, Ferland Mendy from Olympic Lyonnais is on the bench. And he's now bad for a youngster. That midfield, of course, go content. He's no introduction. And Zonzi probably in for Pogba because Pogba is missing. And that's significant. Place much weedy. Uh, he's got an engine on him as well. That midfield strong to support, of course, Mbappe, who can do no wrong as of late. It will be the Dutch to kick us off then. Early chance to break through here. And the French ranks could be compromised. Loris with the save. Van Alden with the shot. And a break down the right hand side involving Memphis Depay. Free finding Luca Digne. It's a good ball in. Griezmann so good with his head. Scored a fine goal in their last match against Germany. One of two he scored as they won 2 1 coming from behind. And that could have had more to Silicon, right? Finals. Long, long way to go. Varane's touch away to Memphis. Intelligent cutback as well, who's looking. That's beautifully done again. A curling shot, not quite so from Mbappe. No, but good movement. It's also about seeding for the next European uh, Championship in qualifying, isn't it? I mean, okay, now them got his head on it. Hit by Pavard! We've seen it happen. Yeah, Argentina, remember that strike? He still doesn't know how he did that, but he has. It came on the scene and, uh, uh, with that shot alone. Yeah, never to get the answer to you at some point. It required uh, Kuzmanis to win that in the second attempt. It came off Babel at the near post and Zonzi heading it down. Mbappe. Oh, and Conte is free. <laughs> Eventually. Ben Alden got back to him, but the pass was off anyway. Oh, that was no look. Nobody expected that. I didn't even expect Bell has been good in the midfield, but I just don't know if he goes to him first. Or... That was a chance to get that point or three and be done with it. Oh, oh that was a oh. misstep here and a great oh. save from Lloris, but they can't stop the rebound. Babel denied, but Ben Alden on the mark for the Dutch and France have 
been pierced. Dutch persistence paying off. Right before half time in a game the Dutch must win. Fortune favoring the brave and a rifle of a shot from Gene Van Alden. He's got that ability to pop up, right? I mean, he's sniffled. Look at that ball over the top. And watch this. That cleans on oh, Zonzi. I think Varane's got to attack that ball. He's got to come up. Not that he knows much, much better, but it all starts with Zonzi. You can also say that there was no pressure on the ball, of course, when Frankie de Jong delivered the cross. Well, it's the hometown boy making good again, but this time in the national colours. The former Feyenoord man at De Kuyp. Genie Van Alden scoring the only goal of a first half that was... I'm leaving that to you. I saw yeah. the possibilities. If you won by one goal, by two goals, the margin of 2-1 or 3-2. I mean, what's at stake right now is how I'm winning. That game has to change. How is it going to change? Yes, we saw the pragmatic friends from Deschamps because they just needed a draw. This changes everything. I would have to imagine that France will go high, a little bit higher, start to press. They're going to have to because they've got to turn the ball over uh, further away from their own goal, right? We've seen none of that in the first 45 minutes. Van Dijk was the man meeting it for the Netherlands at the near post. Difficult from the position he was in, right at the byline. And Lloris was never from Depay to Babel. Looping shot caused by the deflection. He takes it onwards for a corner at the weekend when he scored. No, he's not looking. The disguise there laid it powerfully in. Vinaldum shoved to the ground, he felt, by Conte. He's not going to get anything. Of course, Conte cautioned to take competitive goals. Champions. And there's Van Dijk. Free header. It really is. That's just inches away. It didn't seem that way, but it really is. And once again, Zonzi goal crafting position. Depay, very good touch away from Pava. Coming in is Dumfries. He's still alive. Maurice required two saves to deny him. Ah, what superb movement! And once again, look at that. Depay again. Daily Blind gets around that. Look at that cross and look at Dumfries. He's up before anybody even sees it. And I'll tell you what, Dinia late once again. Yes, he gets hit, but to Babel. Oh. Originally, this is where the Dutch can be so dangerous on the move. And the card is out here. Pavar has to turn and face the concept of six. Saw it all the way, did Oris. Not to be fooled. He's had some hiccups, club and country, as of late, but he's been very. Griezmann only needs half a chance. He got his studs Whoa. on that. <laughs> by hook or by crook. Unusual bad touch. Mr. Pai around Pavar. <laughs> Again, it's the legs of Liu Galeries. <laughs> well, Memphis Depay has got so much confidence. You can see it every time he gets the ball, he takes the player. Darun's mm, header. Short. Oh. That was a chance which presented itself either for the right boot or the left. It was for Dembele's left in the end. And he was way off the mark. Again. <laughs> Leon Man, midfielder. You think that it's that, that sort of a... a more instant. Varane in uh, the way. They've left. Uh -huh. It's Quincy Brothers. Or... Third cap. Pavar back onto the right foot. He was deceptive. The former Feyenoord, Tony Vilhena, coming in. Hey! <laughs> it was quick thinking from De Jong. Absolute failure at the back to bring the ball. An incredible Larice. It's chance, a place at the UEFA Nations League finals in Rotterdam. And if one man deserved the goal, of course, it was Memphis. That made great shot. Just uh, look at this. I mean, uh, was Memphis Depay. I mean, what a performance from him. Get that point or three and be done with it. Oh, oh that was a misstep here. And a great oh. save from Lloris, but they can't stop the rebound. Babel denied, but Vinaldon on the mark for the Dutch.
and France have been pierced. Dutch persistence paying off right before half time in a game the Dutch must win. Fortune favouring the brave and a rifle of a shot from Gene Van Alden. He's got that ability to pop up, right? I mean, he's sniffled. And look at that ball over the top. And watch this. That cleans on oh, Zonzi. I think Varane's got to attack that ball. He's got to come up. <laughs> it was quick thinking from De Jong. Absolute failure at the back to bring the ball. Clear. An incredible Lloris. It's chance. A place at the UEFA Nations League finals in Rotterdam. And if one man deserved the goal, of course, it was Memphis that made great shot. Just a lot. look at this. I mean, uh, was Memphis the pie? The pie. I Chiellini ahead of him. He's just been presented with a token to mark his 100 cap. 21 year old from Benfica, the six for two central defender comes in for his sixth. Let's hope he doesn't do <laughs> rocks is a stone. <laughs> oh. He won't care a job about that. Will it's he? a little like PK for going through to those finals in June. Next summer. Portugal need him. It to Russia for the World Cup campaign reflects where they are at the moment. Well, Italy straight on the front foot. I'm sure it'll just stare him on. And this is Barella looking for Insignia. Caps for Italy. Shoot is the cry. Oh, and Patricio makes half a save and West over the bar. I mean, this first bit from Insignia is absolutely stunning, and Rui Patricio. Here he goes Immobile again. Can he test the injured goalkeeper? Cavallio comes back. At the moment, the captain their own half. It's another little problems. Roberto Mancini will be delighted. Sharp, isn't he? Florenzi demands that they be maintained. Chiesa. It's a little tester again. You've been there before. Bonucci loses out to Bruma up against Chiellini. Oh, burst that on the counter-attack Portugal do have the ability to cause Italy problems looking for Cancelo Cancelo puts it right across the face of goal is the kind of delivery that defenders have nightmares about he knows there's a Portuguese player behind him and he PT to take the corner I was going to suggest they may want to use the low route to goal because uh, the Italian team are much taller the only thing you could Really point to is that the goals. Won't want to show him uh, too much in there. Well, gets a good header to the ball. The former Sam. Personally, believe that it's more important that fullbacks can attack than that actually deferred away from breaking the deadlock here. Nice. Excellent skating through. Lots of defenders hold one of those shots. Chancing one from distance. Man who's making only the third appearance for the national team. Wonderful skill from Varane. Dominating the game. Oh, cool. Bastide Italy. It was there a touch the referee felt the ball had been played? And seeing it. A low centre of gravity. Plays the ball then again. It just goes agonally over there. Proved to be quite a decisive touch here. It's the ball's it's in. Touch. Isn't he? Cancelo stands his ground as a... He's only going to bring on pressure, but... ...the moment. As they uh, try to contain Italy. Badella right across the sink. The supporters are realising how important they can be, and they are crying. We have to get through to at least the semis and win the group. You know, you're on the far side, but Verratti decided to... Trying to go for a central route. 
Oh, strong challenge after the ball had gone. Referee, that was a great little turn as well. Keeps his feet, goes ground. The ground just a little too easily. Now Verratti. And judgment, you know. Verratti, what a brilliant ball through. Patricio comes and makes a tremendous save from Imo. His finger, so blatant. This is the chance to put Italy. Organizational skills of uh, Pepe as well, who is suspended this evening. Take it. So, we're still in there. Oh! Scoring, really. He's claiming it comes off a Portuguese player. It clearly does. Goals in each of our last two matches against Poland and the last time out against Scotland. Remember, Donald Rimmer touching the ball once. Chiellini, outside of the foot, just testing it. Uh, strong two passes together. Oh, free kick in a Looks like I'm wrong. Look at the left foot of Biragi. Biragi tries to go through the wall. Bernardo uh, Silva to Pitti. Was it in Chiellini comes and he doesn't make a clean connection to draw them out of position. Chiellini fires the ball. Excellent close control from Insignia, who has been the most eye-catching man but for Portugal. They have another minute to endure. Comfortable defending from Ruben. Half-time whistle goes. And uh, well, the national anthem and they have set the tone of the game. Uh, John is our Portugal expert, we've seen an awful lot of them. And, uh, yeah. Puts you right on the front foot. Insignia was caught after. And the way things stand, Portugal will be delighted with the draw. The Portuguese players. Cancelo caught in possession, and then Cancelo catch Andre Silva. Oh, brilliant ball from Verratti. Biragi advances and well, scream of pain. The referee acknowledges that he's seen it. it gives Insignia the chance to advance. It's a great ball from Verratti to Insignia and then Jorginho. He find the gap to exploit. Taken quickly. The discussions between. It may be Italy that have to change their tactics to draw Portugal out of their defensive shell. This is Bruma. To hammer out a plan. Donald Ruma, the keeper, has another save to make. Breaks his boredom by dancing off his. Biragi. Yes, the tackle had to be good. The timing was good. Insignia. Immobile back up now. He's defended by foot. Cavalio, Portugal know that, they've done their homework for Ratti. Biragi. It was worth the shot. <laughs> Getting instruction. Of course, plays his uh, club football here for Inter. And Rui. Rumor to his left hand side. Andre Silva waiting for any bits and pieces that. P2 puts the cross in. Jorginho. That's a poor pass from here. Oh. So one of the, the players who was part of the, the Portugal. Hey. Got on a run. Okay, yeah. Got on a run. Good job. He was looking for Ratti because the goalkeeper had vacated. Nervous. Hush around me. Sam Siro as Italy bring everybody back to defend. It's Rui. Can't put a foot wrong tonight. Chiellini. Bonucci fires it down the centre. Cancelo. Enters the area with intent. Gian Mario defenders slipping and sliding, but forced a fine save out of uh, Patricio. Oh, now they've gone to sleep in defence. Here's Bruma. To win, to keep this group alive. Take it to the final game next week between 
Portugal and Poland. Jean Mario, space for Andre Silva. So this clearance from Bonucci comes to Cavallo and a chance a few players in there as well. Helps on by Insignia. Strange is now as he joins the attack. And they've weathered the storm to neat ball. Now for Renzi, Pellegrini the substitute. Full of movement, plays a teasing ball in. The referee has a long look at that. Yeah. Since then, here he is. There is Insignia, the two players down. Insignia goes around. Add to that fit again. Indeed, ten of this side did start the game as recently as Thursday evening. And that's in the last couple of years for Champions League matches at Chelsea and Arsenal. It's not a Bain and Rashford. Chance for a chance now for Croatia and England. Actually as well, and Sterling's on the move. He went to pass it, but... Uh, Vlasic was going to get a bit closer. Right, the ball by Bartley for Walker. And the goalkeeper who didn't play in the game in Rijeka. Kalinic, he was injured then. He's a very tall keeper. And it's difficult to stay with these runs. Perisic does his best. This time he might have been offside. Kyle Walker, an easy one to feed into Kane. it through to an offside Harry Kane. It's that kind of break. Delft has to come in there. England are in trouble here. And really could have been a goal down Pickford. Thought he couldn't pick it up. Yeah, thinking it's a back pass. Well, it probably Which it is. is. It yeah. is. I mean he's made the right call. It's just bounced off his chest too far, that's all. And what a chance for Rebic this is. Just needed a bit of composure, put far too much on it. There he goes. It's over him. The end goalkeeper's done well, but Kane's got a great chance. Can I have another chance here, Harry Kane? Can he force it in this time? And Croatia got numbers back, including the goalkeeper himself. And England, again, uh, left frustrated with his early openings. Well, I think he could anticipate the keeper crashing into him here. It is a lovely weighted ball for him. And he just hesitates, Sterling, and yet by on Hunter to frustrate Harry Kane. Really, England should be one or two goals up. Stones going in. One or two players going up for the corner. England have to be content with the corner. And a chance for. The sort of goal that Kane scored in the World Cup, you might remember. He's the winner against Tunisia. With the flick on, he's Stones. unmarked. Stone's just ambling in, and he's in space, and Kane's in even more here. A classic half volley just gets completely wrong. Two great chances for England, and here's the first one. Kane this time. Sterling, he's in the clear here this time. Raheem Sterling for England. But the goalkeeper wins out in that one-on-one. -on -one. He's had an awfully long time to think about this, and I don't think he's done him any favours. He glances across to see where Rashford is. It's plenty behind him. He just felt it lacked a bit of conviction. That and then have to be content with the corner. Paul Sterling. For Kane, it's a challenge on the England. Oh, Rashford, very direct from England. Backed up by uh, Chilwell. That's a foul, but Marcus Rashford wondering it was very uh, direct from Pickford. Shades of Seville. Yeah, well, Croatia know all about that long ball from Pickford. They've studied it, they were aware of it. And yet again, England don't make the most. Of a brief Modric, Modric slow to press the ball. Novevic, Perisic, that was uh, the threat that he composed particularly. 
start, started with a good run by Rebic to, to start the move and really dangerous ball in that Stones dealing with it very well. Payne gets to it. And then it's into the side netting. And the volley from Barclay. Didn't like the keeper, Kalanich, but uh, it's nowhere near this. It's a difficult chance for, for Barclay. Coming out the sky, doesn't quite catch it how he would have wanted to. Right and for England complacency here, and this is very much that kind of moment. Asking the uh, referee about the challenge here. It looked a good one from Gomez, actually. Kramerich didn't think, oh, maybe not. Mm. No, you can see why Kramerich was having a chat to the ref. Gomez does make contact, I think. Mm. Just there. The put. Rashford, the weaving run. Kane. Barkley had to take a touch, would have liked to have hit it first time, one suspects. In by Walker. And just trying to keep the squeeze on here. And uh, I can't, it's a team the foul by Dyer. Yeah, well, went for the ball, but went over Brozovic to get it. I think Rashford got fouled initially, the ref giving the advantage. Nice bit of footwork. Just. That's your turn. Drilled back by Chilwell, it was an awkward one for the goalkeeper. He didn't save it conclusively. Modric's going to run it uh, conclusively. He's uh, the furthest forward for Croatia at the moment. He's got some runners around him. And that's going to be a, a yellow card, interrupting the flow of the play by Ross Barkley. Mm -hmm. He just slowed it down, Modric. And he said, exactly come and foul me, come yeah. and get booked. Knew exactly where he was. Going to be caught right at the last before half time with a Modric pass. A very nice. Couldn't deal with, but England could be in trouble here. Found uh, his uh, shooting boots, Rebic. Fortunately for England. No, he's not had the best of uh, halves. The centre forward. He had that chance from the back pass right at the start of the half. Nowhere near on that occasion either. What a famous goal in the World Cup against Argentina after a very poor piece of goalkeeping footwork from Willy Caballero. Rebic with him. Rebic wanted to touch and hit. And they're in trouble here. And it's in, and Croatia, through Kramaric's deflective shot, have stolen the lead at Wembley. It seemed to take an eternity for the striker to get his shot away. But how well did he do here? I mean, yes, the deflection is extreme. Which Rashford might have expected. Delft. Another chance. He's got him behind Croatia then. He's got too much on it there, Fabian Delft. Nice run by the midfielder, though. Nothing wrong with that ball in from Rashford. Since it was the better of the two balls, wasn't it? But England again working it, Sterling up with him. Barclays covering the ground. It's Raheem Sterling. Dangerous Perisic galloping up with him. Here he is. And that's unselfish. There were two arriving in the middle. But that's what Croatia have got to do. They call for the fans to give them more backing. They pick their moments, and this was one of the moments. Mm, Perisic knows what a good opportunity this was. He had all the time in the world really to decide what to do Gomez does well to block the avenue and Modric taking an eternity to get over and take the corner looking weary Sancho good run from Ali Kane coming in and Bracalo that's a hard low and England have to concede it uh, Vlasic has won the header and Perisic drives on Brozovic Perisic for Brozovic. Moving by the 
Liverpool defender. And it must be captured by Lingard. Kane was there to make the first contribution. But Lingard made sure it went over the line and England have got the goal. The long throw did the trick. Back to basics. Didn't it just? Nice flat trajectory this. And Harry Kane at the far stick as well. Just a stick out of there to keep it alive, to poke the ball goalwards. The simplest finish Jesse Lingard will ever have, but maybe an important one. Maybe still plenty of time to uh, mount a grandstand finish here. One goal you feel away from a place in the semi-final. And that is the goal, Harry Kane in the nick of time. His goal touches back right on cue. Croatia have fought hard here and there's still time for them. But they look shattered as England celebrate. It's all about that ball into the box. It was a beauty. Lukaku scoring both of the goals, but he is not available. Changes the only players who remain are Zuba, Chaka, and Froiler. The surprise Nasser Chadley, who moved from West Brom to Monaco in the summer, will be part of the strike for the on Sato. It's not a night for standing around, Gary, is it? No, it still looks a fabulous lineup, doesn't it? That's how far they've come. The progress has been staggering. Cup finals. Well, they need somebody to take a grip of the situation at the moment. There's an offside, he makes a back pass, can't be offside. And the goal stands. Well, what a dramatic start to the game. A self inflicted wound from the Swiss. Any to Shaka in the centre there as well. Shaken off the knee injury, the Arsenal man Rodriguez puts the cross in. There is an assurance about it. this Belgian team, of course, reached the semi finals at the World Cup. Now, you know, top class international for 14 years at Liverpool this season. Scored two goals in his last three matches. Barbu's cross, Courtois stays on his line. Shakiri, generally a scorer of spectacular goals. Mertens plays it in, oh, so close. Fitzel back, assisting defence. He's going to have to get himself out of a tricky situation. Away days. Shakiri. Can they live up to it? This is Chadley. Tries to play the cute ball to Roy Hodgson was in charge of the country. Football-wise, of course. It's interesting. Well, they had a magnificent run in the, the qualifiers to the World Cup. Shakiri. Knight. They want to reverse their fortunes. Oh, brilliant, brilliant take. It's that man Hazard again. Morgan Hazard is hunting for a hat trick now. I'll tell you what, you've got to watch the defending or lack of it here. Yes, it's a great strike. But you watch now when they pick it up, he picks it up here. Right, who's going to come towards him? Who's going to close him down? Anybody? Well, any game they've failed to win. Chadley. Hazard. Not a brilliant run by Chadley. How could they are when they lose the ball, Belgium, when it's straight back, that's a sign of a very good team. We're trying to work out. Tielemans makes the run, he's the man who created the second goal, can he create a third? Only ball, oh, this kick and 
It was at Munier, he was... Fernandez into the six. Panic in the Belgian defence, Courtois goes to Gramsh. As he scrambled for the ball. A little bit of luck there, but you need that when you're 2-0 down. When Barbie was there... Rodriguez sends Courtois the wrong way, and the game is alive again. It is. It was a cracking penalty as well. A lot of pressure on that. You could see it in his face. He kept his calm. Slotted it beautifully. Just waited till Courtois had made his move. It's not always easy. There is Safarovic. It's his first. Barbie. Every Belgian player is back defending. Shakiri. I think was going for goal then. Here now. Strange how Iceland have just suddenly imploded, isn't it? This is Mbappe. Well, Shakiri and Mekotwa well, can't get there. What a turnaround in this game. Zefanovic. Well, two goals in the space of less than five minutes. No, well, he said he hadn't had a kick. He has now. Pentacle. Belgian gifted a goal. Just over a minute. And has up. Big tip off. Just. And Hazard had made a brilliant dart in there, anticipated the mistake from the defenders. Lukaku both scored a, a hat trick each that evening. Tieleman thinking about shooting. Oh, it was him. You think, well, somebody come again? You never learn the lesson, they just let him get the shot away. It's Fernandes, half stopped by Vitzel. Mbappe. It'll tease in for this can't get there and then their own secure box more or less. I think the last man's there. Rodriguez. Zabaranic. Look at the team of Switzerland. The A-team are doing okay after a hazardous start. Here's Eden Hatter. Drops the shoulder, tries to send the defenders. And teases the ball in. Oh my goodness gracious me, what a turnaround! From 2-0 down to 3-2 up, going into half-time. A second for Seferovic. Strike by Seferovic. He can't, he can't believe it, the fan there, though. Really, from the opening minute, and Torgan Hazard was gifted a goal. Then he's got a cracking second from distance. And then Rodriguez clean sheets in five games for Belgium. Conceding three goals. In the first half, three goals in the space of 19. Well, the way things stand in this group at the moment, they will be level on points. Switzerland have scored more goals, they have a better goals dip. In the build up to this game, yet yeah, they scored six against Iceland on the opening night of the Nations League. And Germany have been relative. Germany play the Netherlands on Monday night. Casual clearance spell then. Hazard lets he go, he makes it a brilliant run as well. Hazard! Tremendous. Held his whistle, I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, that's really, really tight. Looks just on side from that angle. I think the flag does go. This is Sadarovic, he's got a break for the victory. Closer makes his move. Sadarovic looking for a hat trick! Oh, that could have been it. I've done better. He's done the right thing, he's clipped it over, but just doesn't hit the target. Everybody thinks he's scored right. Shakiri to Fernandez. Fernandez on the outside, he gets his cross in, but fires it at Shakiri. Shakiri teases the ball, it's a block by Aldevir. It's Shakiri! Uh, went for the, the curl. Keep that high line. Don't get dragged into your own box. It's uh, a little bit difficult to comprehend at times. Shakiri again, great ball in! Oh yes! 
Helveni, who gifted the goal to Belgium in the opening minute or so of the game, has now turned this game on its head, and some of these Swiss supporters are starting to look at Brocious for Portugal next summer. My word. Will not be making plans for the UEFA Nations semi-finals next year. It's the first time they've conceded four goals under Roberto Martinez. Free header, not a yellow shirt near them. Well, as expected, Batshuayi comes on, and it's no great surprise. We come on to them because we know what Belgium are capable of if teams allow them to do that. Batshuayi is going to the, uh, the pointed end of the Belgian. He's only lost two games as Belgian manager. Oh, Sommer. He's two steps ahead of Through, but now a knife edge. To the near post, it was Vincent Company. The macro back to back. So a wasteful cross from Remo Freuler. Be careful, he's the only player to be booked so far. Sommer screams for the ball and he'll take all the time the referee. Roberto Martinez wants his players. Rodriguez. Zuba would prefer to get it onto his right foot. Belgium are aware of that. He's closed down by Shakiri. Shakiri, who's been quiet for the last 10 minutes, hands it up for Seferovic. And he beats Berta to sit back a little bit too deep now. Mertens gets past Mbabu, plays a 1 2 with Hazard. Mertens hangs it into the six yard box, headed up. Belgium tell oh, what a ball from Shakiri to Mbabu. Seferovic! Trick. What an incredible game of football. Switzerland are now making plans for the UEFA Nations semi final.